What's up YouTube? Uh, before we begin this video, um, I want to play with my background colors. What do you think looks better? This blue, this purple, or this white? White, purple, or blue? We'll try the purple for now. Um, anyways, in this video we're going to be opening up some Pokemon TCG online booster packs. Um, I'll show you my collection in a little bit. I don't actually buy any of these, what are these called? Decks? Starter decks? So here's the featured stuff. Um, one thing I did notice is that they don't actually sell Hidden Fates booster packs. So Hidden Fates booster packs must probably go for a lot or on trade. Um, we're going to open up a bunch of Hidden Fates booster packs today. Um, I also have some Cosmic Eclipse. I'm going to spend some coins. I got 4,000 coins. Um, okay, we'll redeem. I haven't actually bought any booster packs on here in a while. Unified Minds. We'll go ahead and buy one of those. Unbroken Bonds. Eh. Fine, I'll buy one of those. Um, I actually kind of took a break from Pokemon TCG and I didn't really collect a lot of the team up cards. I didn't really care for Lost Thunder or Celestial Storm. Okay, we're gonna slow our roll, guys. We're gonna slow our roll. We'll try. What is this Forbidden Light? Ultra Prism sounds pretty cool. Crimson Invasion. I know I didn't like Crimson Invasion. Is that sudden? Yeah, these are all Sun and Moon packs. Guardians Rising, Evolutions, Ancient Orients, Phantom. Was it Phantom Forces? Primal Clash, those are some old ones. Glowing Skies, Furious Fist, Flash Fire, X and Y. The one I was kind of interested in was Black and White Legendary Treasures. Uh, yeah, I kind of remember this one being pretty cool. And then we got some old ones as well. Hard and Gold stuff. Black and White stuff. I really liked um, Black 2 for the DS, 3DS, and then Sun and Moon, I wasn't impressed for the game. The cards, I feel like Hidden Fates did a good job, and then the latest set, Crimson, I mean Cosmic Eclipse, they did a good job. Um, any, any of those other sets, I was just not into it, and it kind of took me a while to really get into the tag team stuff. I was kind of just really like the EXs. And now there's GXs. So I'm kind of, I don't really have great decks right now. So I figured what we do is instead of actually putting these on trade, which is probably the smarter thing if you actually play Pokemon TCG, is actually to put these up for trade rather than opening them. But opening them is kind of more fun. <laughs> Um, let's see, oh, whoa, 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 let's see, if I do have like one of the packs, I probably won't open it, but look, we have 90 Hidden Fates, oh, 90 Hidden Fates, 8 Shining Legends, we got some Sun and Moon Poke, um, booster packs, 37 Cosmic Eclipse, Crimson Invasion, Forbidden Light, Guardians Rising. Okay, let's see. How should I do this? Let's open up these first. Let's get these guys out of the way. Uh, I wonder if that sound is too loud. special um, let's see whoa I have 30 56 evolutions Jeez. Um, sometimes I'll actually put them in 
through the booster boxes or I'll just buy some codes off of uh, eBay. Let's open up, uh, what is this? Steam Siege? I don't actually like, what is this guy's name? The Firewater guy? Not, a, not that cool of a legendary. And the rare. Yeah. Bishar, Steel Dark type. Nice. Okay, and I don't really want to do Roaring Skies or Primal Clash. Those are, those are so old. Ah. Yeah, we'll skip Primal Clash and Phantom Forces. Because I think those are like out of the meta right now. Curious Fist. So I'll try to save some so that they're actually worth a lot more as time goes on and you can't really buy them from the shop the value or the rarity will go up and then you can actually trade for cards you really want um we'll open up one evolution again at the end we're probably gonna be opening up a lot of things and cosmic eclipse what is this mega slow bro ex dang that's old school. Breakthrough. Uh, why not? It's, to me, I'd rather open up real booster packs. Maybe I should keep them. Down to EX. I actually have boxes of PSA graded cards. I'll probably do a PSA video um, pretty soon. Breakpoint. Like, I don't really know how to be Sun and Moon sets that well, so I kind of all mish them up together. Mish them and mash them together. We got a Toe Kiss. Yes. Okay. X and Y. Here, let's open up Unbroken Bond. I don't even know what's in this. Ooh, McChamp and Marshadow. Oh, dang, that's kind of hard to read. <laughs> there you go. That's a cool card. Open another. Genesis. Tag team. Unified minds. Yeah, we'll open up a unified mind. Very energy. Pikachu. Actually, nah. Nah. it's okay. Um, okay, we'll open up this one. Snorlax and Eevee team. Nothing good. Okay, we'll open up. There's a Greninja in this set. Oh, Greninja and Zorak. Yeah, I probably don't want to see these are all new cards. This card, only if one of your fairy Pokemon was knocked out during your opponent's last turn, put two cards from your discard pile into your hand. Okay. We'll do another one. Noivern. Hmm. Okay. Crimson Invasion, why not? Oh, 
Buzzwall GX. Not one of my favorite Pokemon. Ooh, we got our Cognitive Eclipse. We got Burning Shadows. Yeah, what's this one? Just the regular Super Sun and Moon. Can't wait for the Sword and Shield packs to be released. Beware. Bear Hug and Super Power. Shining Legend. Okay. This is actually a really good set. Shining Legend. Raichu GX. Voltail. Okay. Some GX cards. We got our 90 hidden baits we'll be opening. And. Let's see, should we start with Cosmic Eclipse or Hidden Fates? I think we'll do some Hidden Fates first. Again, Hidden Fates are probably going to be worth quite a bit in this online game because they don't sell Hidden Fates in the shop. We got one of these common Mewtwo GXs. I really like the background. Can we... Can we... Open this card, yeah. Look at that. Look at that background 180. It's not that much HP for GX, and then they're gonna have uh, G cards, which are basically Dynamax or Dynamax cards, Actress, and Frog. We'll just go until we feel like it. Oh, no, no. Charm, enough. Blaine's last stand. You can play this card only when it is the last card in your hand. Draw two cards for each fire Pokemon you have in play. Doesn't sound that good. That's your last card. All these cards are very situational. Erica's Hospital, you can play this card only if you have four or fewer other cards in your hand. Draw a card from each of your opponent's Pokemon in play. Your opponent reveals their hand. You may choose a supporter card you find there and use the effect of that card as the effect of this card. Eh. Okay, nothing good. Let's move on. Sorry, I just I haven't really read most of these cards, so I don't know what to do. Sometimes you look at the credit cards and make a difference. You look at supporter card. It can make a big difference. Or these gems. But again, a lot of them are very situational. Discard a card from your hand. If you do, look at the top eight cards of your deck and put one of them into your hand. Shuffle the other cards back into your deck. Yeah, a lot of these, a lot of these blue cards are about um, searching through your deck or burning through your deck to get a lot of draw power. Oh man, we haven't pulled anything. We haven't pulled any of shiny. Rares, ultra shiny secret rares, GX cards, rainbow cards. Each player discards two cards from their hand. I guess some decks are good for like, starting cards. Then you can like swap Okay, so good luck 
fucking pass. I feel it. I can feel it. Here it is. Guzzlord, five dark energy. You got a Guzzlord, GX, and these tag team birds. Oh, it's so hard to read. And the tough part about this is you need what special energies or basically a mixed fire, water, and electric energy deck. Ten damage counters on your opponent's Pokemon in any way you like. Just ten. Oh, that means you can basically move the damage around. You still gotta deal a lot of damage to have damage counters on there. Thirty more damage times the amount of energy attached to your opponent's active. Kind of weak if uh, they don't have have a lot of energy. As often as you like during your turn, you may move a water energy from one of your bench Pokemon to your active Pokemon. This attack does 20 more damage times the amount of water energy attached to this Pokemon. That's pretty good for a basic Pokemon, I guess. Nice health. 120 plus you do 60, 80 times of damage. And I think that's good. Water decks that like really move out of the water. So if I use that water gym card, I can still use that water gym card. It heals like 20, 30 yeah. HP each turn. I got another one of those Mewtwo's. Spent like seven bucks on nothing. Garbage. Spent seven bucks on. Oh, this is actually this is this is a nice card. Each player just. I mean, even though it's just a discard card, the artwork looks good. You got a meow, and the texture is really good. You got a bobble fit here. I actually really want this card. Um, these four packs. Um, I think it's very unlikely to pull cool, a shiny charm card. Oh, I saw the gold card and I was like, what is this? Tapu Coco. I don't actually think I pulled a gold card. And when you play this Pokemon from your hand onto your bench during your turn, you may move any number of electric energy from your other Pokemon to this Pokemon if you do if you do switch this Pokemon with your active one. If you do Switch this Pokemon with your active Pokemon. I see. So it kind of comes in. This attack does 50 damage times the amount of. What energy is that? Attached to all of your opponent's Pokemon. 
Hmm. The only thing is it has very low HP. It's kind of a glass cannon in that sense. It depends on how much damage you have. Statistically, that was like three packs. This, is, this one should be pretty good. Jinx and Fable. Okay, statistically, this pack should be good. Statistically. Has really good cards, except the secret rares or pool rates are just so bad. I mean, like, who don't, no one wants these holographics. So, when you really buy these boosted packs, this is what you can expect to get in pack. You just put this on the side and never use it or look at it ever again. Okay, so there's only we got a Charizard GX. There's only a few of the shiny Pokemon that I really like the full art, like Umbreon, Dark Ride, Okay, we got a shiny Pokemon here. Once during your turn, before you attack, you may draw cards until you have three cards in your hand. Most of the time, you're gonna want to have more than three cards in your hand. So I guess it's situational, but generally, you want to be having more than three cards in your hand all the time. Um, so far, with Espeon, with the gold. Does 30 damage for each energy card in your opponent's discard pile. Hmm. Hmm. Eh. Uh, I don't think it's that good. I mean, they gotta have a lot of energy, like at least like six or seven energy cards. Another Quagsire. Probably gonna switch over to Cloud Rush next soon. The hidden phase is a little disappointing. We opened up about, okay, 45 packs. We got about. Oh, we did get that Jesse and James. Four, I guess you can count this as maybe a fifth card. Four or five, like, pretty good cards in 45 packs. So it seems like 
seems like out of every 10 packs you open, you might get one large shiny yet. Secret rare. Seems to be the odds. Got the other lichen rock, okay. This attack does 50 damage for each of your opponent's benched Pokemon. Let's see, most people have an average of like maybe three to four. So that's about 200 damage. Again, uh, it's alright, I guess. It's not bad. And, and the energy cost is pretty cheap. But the GX move you can only use one time, so I don't think it's that great. Let's move on to Cosmic Eclipse. Look at all these cards we do. Marshadow. Cosmic Eclipse has some really, really nice cards with the trainers. I think there's like Zekrom and Reshkan and Arceus, Statue. What else is in here? I like that Steelix card. Wish you wash it. So Valley GX. I don't actually have this card. Okay, it's not bad. Hmm. It's okay. It's really not that great. It's kind of average. I want something that's more like. I guess the tag team cards are a lot stronger than the GX cards. Ooh. Tag team GX. Search your deck for up to three basic energy cards and attach them to your Pokemon in any way you like. Then shuffle your deck. Three basic energy cards? Huh. Okay, I'm not even going to bother reading that. <laughs> Dialga Palkia Arsene. Alolan Sandslash. Explosion GX. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now burned, paralyzed, and poisoned. What does it say? You can't use more than one GX when you attack it. Once during your turn before you attack, you may heal 30 damage from each of your Pokemon. Well, that's kind of nice. This attack does 10 more damage for each damage counter on this Pokemon. Actually, Massive Bloom is pretty strong. 240 HP, I mean, that's a better GX than some of the other ones we've seen. And really, that ability of healing, if it's just so the entire game. Ooh, Charizard and Braxton. Brilliant Flare, you may search your deck for up to three cards and put them into your hand and shuffle your deck. 
Crimson Flame Pillar GX. Attach with five energy? Five basic energy cards? Oh, from your discard pile. Hmm. Pretty cool card. 270 HP. Okay, we got a beautiful Magnemite card. If your defending Pokemon tries to attack during your opponent's next turn, your opponent flips a coin if tails. That attack doesn't happen. You could just keep doing power, mirror shot. Power, I mean, this opponent's tag team GX could do like 300 damage and you could get eight. This is why I like Crimson, I mean, the uh, Cosmic Eclipse. These kind of cards look so nice. Discard energy from your Pokemon. If you do, discard energy from your opponent's active Pokemon. Put four. I tend to read from the bottom up. Put four fire energy cards from your discard pile into your hand. What makes this Pokemon really good is the high HP for basic Pokemon and 100 damage. Which is pretty nice for a basic Pokemon. But that Magnemite, you can stop it. Just gotta put the Got a sand tree. The Volcarona GX. So. I was gonna say they're not worth much, but a card like this. This is a nice card. Oh, uh, it's too much to read. Oh, this is actually a really good card for TCG. You basically discard fire or electric energy from your bench. So you wanna be able to, um, I forget what it's called where you just start like to turbo your energy onto your bench use those trainer support cards to get a bunch of energy discard the fire and the electric and then dishing out 90 damage so you could be doing 180 270 360 if you needed to that's really powerful and then you can just draw it back from your discard pile yeah this People definitely build their decks around this card. Definitely the coolest card I think I've seen so far. I think I might actually have one of those cards. So Galio. I kind of want to open up some more Cosmic Eclipse cards after seeing cards like that. Yeah, again, you're going to get these trash packs. Um, I get that out of the pack is going to have good cards, but it just sucks when, like, out of, like, five packs, I'm going to get one good pack. Oh, here we go. Togepi, Quifa, and Iglipuff. Kind of weird to have the baby Pokemon on a tag team GX card. It's very. It's really not that great, in my opinion. I don't know, I didn't actually use the bottom attack as too much. Hmm. But, you know, I just I really like the artwork. Um, I guess they're just doing the new cards for Sword and Shield. Mini Q. 
Pokemon GX that have any damage counters on them, both yours and your opponents have no abilities. Hmm. I guess that's good if you're up against like the GX. Uh, yeah. At the end of your opponent's turn, this Pokemon has. If this Pokemon has any damage counters on it, flip a coin. If tails, shuffle this Pokemon and all cards attached to it to into your deck. So it can kind of like flip a coin and kind of withdraw. Scatters is what it's called. So Wishy Washy can like with 100, 180 HP for a base card. I mean, some GX cards have 180 to 200 HP. So this is a basic Pokemon. You do Hydro Splash, 130 damage for only three energy cards, and then let's say you're at like the guy does 150 damage. You basically flip a coin and you can scatter and get back into your deck and not lose a prize card. Um, but you are losing the energies that you put on it. I mean, I guess that's a decent ability. Kinda reminds me of uh Anguard. Ultra Beast, eh? This Pokemon can't attack unless your opponent has two or fewer prize cards. Oh, I see, it does 170 damage. And it discards one of their energy cards. So this is good, uh in the end game when your opponent has two or fewer prize cards. 170 for basic card. Situational. Good. Is that the Mega version? I'm just not kind of low for you. Ash. Ash is Pikachu. Seventy HP. I like how the eyes get illuminated. Shiny. And the artwork on Ash looks nice too. Cosmic Eclipse, we only have three left. Oh my gosh. We'll save those. Um, I kind of want to open up. Yeah, we'll open up the shiny light. I should be opening these. For the YouTube video. For the YouTube video. It's so hard to pull the cards from your face. Nobody wants these cards. Very good. Oh. 
Switcher deck for card evolves from your Pokemon, put your Pokemon and evolve into the Switcher deck in your deck. Uh, I guess it depends on how good card chomp is. Zapdos, Articuno, Tag Team GX. Look at that. And then we got Lucario GX. Nice. That's a nice card. There's the other Lucario EX, and I think that Lucario is pretty fun to use as well. This attack does 30 damage for each damage counter on this Pokemon. So if there's like 5 damage counters, this attack would do 150. That's actually really powerful. Say you have 10, it's 300 damage. Psycho Kick. Again, you can only use the GX attack one time. And I guess the first turn, 30 plus 90 is a 120 for one energy. That was actually a really good pack. The rest would be, I mean, these next few would be trash. Probably. Oh, another Jesse James. I think we're gonna stop here. Thanks for watching.